Okay, right. Um, hi. This is supposed to be one of those little how much crochet can I get done in a day things. Because I don't have my regular day job today, so I have time. I do have some other responsibilities, but those are still crochet related. Hi, Neo. Hi, baby. I got a little head start on um, most of a frog. While I was in the hospital waiting room this morning. Neo, please don't eat the yarn. This is Neo. She is going to limit the amount of stuff I can get done today because she's a little nuisance. Um, yeah, but I got a little head start on this froggy. That's the start. I'm gonna see how much more I can make. Alrighty, the hospital frog is done. I just need to like give him a face and sew him. But that's not crochet, that's sewing, so I'll do that later. That's that's one. I'm gonna do some admin stuff now, and then I'm gonna maybe make more frogs, maybe make something else, I'll see. I will update you on that. Okay, I'm gonna start the second frog. I am not done with admin stuff yet, but I have to wait on some other people to do some stuff. Hopefully I'll finish it today. That would be nice. Hi Neo. Hi baby. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um Most of the stuff I'm making today is already for the next shop update. Shop should be opening really soon. I'm fixing the last things today. And hopefully that'll be it. It was supposed to happen yesterday, but technical difficulties and stuff. So hopefully tomorrow is fine. Or tomorrow. Today. Tomorrow is an option too. I sure hope it's done today. Um, but yeah, I'm already making stuff for the next update um, with the yarn that I still have. I can't order new yarn yet because the, some of the colors I want at ice, the ice yarn, are out of stock. Neo baby, can you stop scratching my foot? Do you need attention, baby? That's okay. You can come here. Um, yeah, like I think the black yarn, the white yarn, the cream yarn, and the light green from the chenille that I make plushies with was all out of stock. And I... I don't want to place two different orders because shipping goes whack then and um, yeah that basically means I just have to wait a little bit to order more fluffy yarn. So in the meantime I'm doing the other stuff. Hi baby! Oh oh oh! Oh the cat. Uh, I'm doing some other stuff like these frogs are gonna be keychains. Like these are these are good little keychain size right? Like hand hand. And whoa, baby! Whoa! I think Neo doesn't like that it's rainy. Excuse my hair, by the way. I cycled through the rain earlier. Um, yeah, these are gonna be keychains, and I'm gonna make some of those little little leaf sprout thingies that you can put in your headphones that people have been wearing a lot around here, and I think they look cute and they're simple to make, so they can be cheap. Um, what else am I gonna make? More cat coasters. I'm gonna figure out different coasters too, like the flower stuff. Because that's cute. And um, more plushies, but that's gonna have to wait until the yarn gets here and I can order it in the first place. What else on the smaller side? I'm gonna make some more Perry the Platypus keychains. When the yarn gets here, I'm also going to work on some patterns. I have some pattern notes written down about how I think they should work. And I can't really make them right now because I don't have colors that match it. And I could just make it in like leftover blue acrylic or whatever, but that's not fun. If I'm going to make a pattern, I want it to be the right colors when I first make it. Or at least colors that are easy to see on video so I can record the process and then be just like You should make it in a different color because this is not the color this thing is supposed to have um, Do I want to share the ideas? 
One of them is very Dutch. It's um, a frikandel broodje. But it's a little doggy, like a little wiener dog. It's basically like a hot dog, but not a hot dog. And it's it's going to like have the, the bread part of the snack as a blanket. And I think that's going to be cute. But I, I have no proper brown shades of anything or like red or stuff that goes in there. So I have to wait on that one. Neo, can you stop scratching the chair, baby? She she's she's waking up. It's like almost 10 a.m., which means the cat is awake. I am not awake. I woke up at 7 and that was not it for me, but you know, places to be and things to do. I'm happy that the responsibility of today was early in the morning because then I have the entire rest of the day to make stuff. Um, yeah, but I'm just gonna continue on this froggy and then I'll uh, report back when there's updates. And the second frog is done. And the baby has calmed down. Hi, Neo. Hi, baby. Are you sleepy? Oh, I'm sorry. Was that was that too much? Look, it's a frog. Yeah. Okay, frog's done. All right, still on the couch, the cat has abandoned me. I had a little bit more admin work to do than I was expecting, but a third frog has spawned into existence. This one is the chunky chenille yarn, which I'm almost out of, which is sad. But now we have um, three frogs done today. And I fixed my... Um, some of the more serious parts of the shop update now we just have to make sure that the, everything actually works and that's going to take a little bit but after that i get to have the shop open which is nice i'm just gonna switch to something else to make now while i wait on answers because today is a lot of waiting, and waiting mode is bad. Um, waiting mode usually means that I just doom scroll, which I don't want to do, which is why I'm doing this. I'm gonna put these away so the cat doesn't eat them and make something different for a bit. Alright, it's raining really hard and someone just rang our bell to ask ask us something and he was walking a dog and now I feel really bad for the dog because damn you go for walkies in this this weather ew no uh, anyway I finished three of the kitty coasters and I'm a little bit confused about the ears I know that when I first made them a really long time ago I this is someone else's pattern by the way I will link it um, I altered the ears to get them to be the way that I like them to be, which is pointy with no gaps. But I couldn't remember how I did that, so now they do have the little little gaps because I'm following the pattern. I uh, I don't know how to feel about that. Like it looks it looks great, it looks wonderful. It just doesn't look the same as the view that I still have, uh, which is kind of hmm. yeah. But I finished three of these. And my hand hurts a little bit from working with the small needle now. So I'm going to take a break. I'm going to have a snack. And then work on something else again. So, so far, today, what time is it? It is almost 2 p.m. We have three of these in pink. And then we have 
two small this is Pandora cotton by the way the hot pink I think this is Tweed Dreams from Hobie in a green color two little froggies they are friends I am making them hug they are friends and then some um, chenille baby in apple green from ice yarns for another frog I think I'm actually going to finish these off, like put the eyes in and the faces and the keychains for these. Um, and then have some food, maybe read something to give my hands some time to rest. It's really important that when you're crocheting a lot in a day, you take breaks and you stretch because your wrists are weak-willed. Like you might think you can crochet for 24 hours straight and you probably can like mentally, but your wrists cannot, like, trust me, they can't. You will develop carpal tunnel or some other painful bullshit. Uh, and you don't want to do that, so take breaks. Yeah. It stopped raining for, like, five minutes, so it's sunny. Which means Neo moved to the window. Right, baby? In the sun. Oh, big stretch. Alrighty, baby. Bye. Right, okay, so I finished some frogs and some coasters. And I decided that I am sleepy. And that I don't want to count. And normally that means I'd work on one of my sweaters or cardigans. But those are in the same yarn that I already work with today, like for the frogs. And I don't feel like using that yarn right now. So I think I'm gonna work on my on my mood blanket, which I am really behind on. And by really behind on I mean over a year. So um yeah. I don't even have to check which color to work on right now because I already started a row and then just didn't finish that row. So that's that's even better. This uh is how far it is. Right now it's uh, about arm wide and this long. And that's um, a little bit over a month I thought, halfway into February, start of March, I don't remember. I have my notes for it so that's fine. So it's gonna be a long blanket. And um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on that. I am starting a little bit into this gray row right here after the big chunk of purple. So that's that's my uh, progress later. Yeah, I'm gonna work on that and watch some TV. Right, okay. It's been a minute. Not actually that long, but where, where, where did the brown go? Hello? Did I magically, oh wait, no, I also have that upstairs. I'll just start a new one. Right, okay, so I, my head, okay, um, I did four rows, um, like the grey, the green, the light grey, and then dark grey again, and that's enough for today, because this is super repetitive, and it gets boring really fast, which is why I'm behind so far. I much prefer the pixel art type blankets, because I, I, I am constantly switching colours there. I'm just starting the next row, so I don't leave on the turn, because that's really cursed, usually. And then I'm going to think of something else to do, because, yeah, four rows in one go is enough. I think it took me a little less than an hour to do four rows. This blanket isn't even that big, I'm just not very fast at this pattern, or with this yarn. I think it's... Uh, I, I don't actually know which one this is. I just had a fact. It's this. Yeah. It's really nice and pretty cheap. But it also is like the weird in-between where it isn't really thin but it isn't really thick. And it feels like everything is taking much longer than it is. 
like I checked the time and I was working pretty fast, but it felt super slow and I don't really like that, so I don't know if I'll be working with this again. I do know that I uh one, two, three, four, five. I do know that I really like this yarn from the knitting machine. So I will definitely be buying this yarn again, but I don't know if I'll be crocheting with it again. After this blanket. This blanket will probably take me another year. I checked and I did the first four days of um, of March. So that's something I uh, yeah. I'm gonna go pick something else to do. Alright. I figured out what I'm gonna do. I was rummaging through my yarn stash and I found this. It doesn't mean anything to you. I've had this little guy for a while. I thought I'd run out of yarn. This is what I had left. Which is not enough to give him arms and legs and a tail. Um, but apparently I still had this which is enough to give him arms and legs and a tail. So that's what I'm going to do. Which is lovely, because that's another adoptable um, to put on for the next update, I guess. I, I love how I'm preparing for the next update when the site isn't even live yet. Don't worry about that. But this guy's really cool, because he's got earrings. I don't know if you can, can see, but he's got little, little purple metal rings in his ear. And I thought that was really cute, and I was sad I couldn't finish him, but now I can. I also already went to the store to look for more of this yarn before, but they didn't have it anymore, because for some reason they only sell the fluffy yarn, or they call it extra soft here. Um, they only sell it in the winter, not during the summer, which I think is weird. But, yeah. Go off, I guess. During the summer they sell more cotton. I guess that makes sense when you're making clothes, but I make plushies, so it doesn't make sense for me. Right, mini update. The two little skeins of white yarn I had were not actually the same yarn. This is the ice yarn, and this was the yarn from the Zeman. Um, they're roughly the same color, slightly different texture, so I'm fine with it. I wish I had noticed before cutting the first one after doing the paw. Otherwise, I would have undone it, done the white tip on the tail, and then just made the paws entirely brown. But this will work. It's fine. I'll just discount him a little bit. That That's okay. Additional update on this guy. Apparently, I was not following the, the pattern when I started the body. Because the legs are way too big. So, uh, I think I was already trying to calculate in the fact that I didn't have enough yarn. So, I'm just going to leave him like this. With the little arms and the ears. And he can just be a bean. It's fine. I don't want to freehand legs and a tail to fit the body. If I went off pattern. Because that's a pain. And I'm way too sleepy for that. It's like, what, close to six right now. And I am sleepy because I woke up way too early. And um, I finished a little fox friend. That's the last thing that I did. I had a little half nap, half being on the phone type deal. And I realized that I don't want to work on any of my big crochet projects. And I don't want to start any of the little projects that I can do, like the frogs. So I pulled down my knitting machine, because that's a really nice thing to do when I'm kind of sleepy. And um, it's really relaxing to do, especially if you're listening to something. There was a little dust thing on there. Uh, currently on the machine, I've got my blanket project, which I will finish this panel and then see if I want to make another panel or do some beanies or something. Um, I have one panel from this project already. This is how long it is. Um, it's not super big. It's going to be pretty wide. I think it's going to be more square. It's for on the couch, not for in bed, so it's fine if it's not exactly bed size. Um, it's going to be really warm. This is Hobie. Amigo, like XL I think, yeah XL. This is a really nice texture, the skeins aren't that big. Um, I know Hobie is pretty budget friendly for quality, but I do think it adds up if you want to make a blanket. So for blankets I tend to go for even cheaper yarn, which messes with quality a little bit sometimes, but I accept that. Because for me it's more about making the blanket than actually using it. Does that makes any sense? I don't think it does. 
I just really like making stuff and if it's not for sale then I don't really care about the quality that much. So since I never sell blankets because they just take too long, I don't care if they're like me medium quality instead of good quality. So this is higher quality than I would usually get the yarn for myself for a blanket. But yeah, it's got um, these blocks and then the panels in between these two colors. This one is also this color, I'm doing all of this one first. The panels in between are this lighter green and then a brownish shade. And then it's making like a gingham pattern, is that how you say that? Um, so you sew them together and it creates a funky pattern. Hi Mio baby, don't scratch the couch honey. Come here baby. Come here baby, don't scratch the couch, that's not very nice of you honey. Hey. But yeah, I'm gonna work on that and I think that's really satisfying as a time lapse, so I'm definitely going to time lapse that. And I'll probably put it on the Instagram too and in the video. This video is going to be really long. I'm doing a lot today. I usually do a lot if I have a day off my regular job. Neo baby. Hey. Don't do that. She's doing illegal stuff, so I'm going to hold her for a second. Um, yeah, usually if I've got a day off my day job, I get a lot of crochet or similar projects done because otherwise I get trapped in the like phone cycle, like being on the five social media and then switching between them constantly, you know, that type of deal. I try to avoid that by doing something creative. Baby, no, you're not going to eat that. That's not allowed, okay? So yeah, I always get quite a lot done on my days off. So this isn't like extreme. I just didn't sleep that well, so it sounds like I'm much more tired than I would usually be. Yeah? You're gonna behave? Okay, baby. So I'm gonna start on that. Alright, so I finished the blanket part, it's, uh, it's just the same as the one I showed earlier, and I thought I was going to make a beanie out of this, but it, uh, the knitting machine decided it wanted to eat the yarn instead and skipped half the stitches, like to the point that it looked so bad that I wouldn't even sell it for a discount or wear it myself. Um, so now I'm rolling this entire cake of yarn into a ball because it was a center pull, and you can't just put back the center pull, you know. So now I have to do this, and I think after that I am just gonna call it a day. I think so, yeah. So today was three frogs, three coasters, the arms on the fox, four rows on the mood blanket, and the finishing half a panel of a knitting machine blanket. And then a failed beanie. I think that was it? Was that it? I think so, yeah. So yeah, that was quite a lot, I guess. Yeah, nice, good day. Good night, I am done for today. I think it's like 8.30-ish. I uh, started at 7.30 in the morning, so that's... Uh, yeah, that's a decent amount of time. Next time I'm gonna... make plans for what I'm gonna make during the day. Because I was just winging it now and I uh, got bored because I didn't know what I wanted to make. But I made things, multiple things. It was good. Good challenge. Enjoyable. Uh, the center pull is not center pulling. I'm going to fix this and then I'm done. Good night. <laughs>